now in thy splendour go before us. Spirit of England, ardent-eyed, enkindle this dear earth that bore us in the hour of peril purified. The cares we hugged drop out of vision, our hearts with the deeper thought dilate. We step from days of sour division into the grandeur of our fate. For us the glorious dead have striven, they battled that we might be free. We to their living cause are given, we arm for men that are to be. Among the nation's noblest chartered, England recalls her heritage. In her is that which is not bartered, which force can neither quell nor cage. For her immortal stars are burning, with her the hope that's never done, the seed that's in the springs returning, the very flower that seeks the sun. She fights the force that feeds desire on, dreams of a prey to seize and kill, the barren creed of blood and iron, vampire of Europe's wasted will. Endure, O earth, and thou awaken, Purged by this dreadful winnowing fan, O wronged, untamable, unshaken soul of divinely suffering man. The 4th of August, written by Robert Lawrence Binion, narrated by Jordan Harling.